Good afternoon. Welcome to Sappy Simple Syrup. I'm Chris. I'm the owner and operator. This is my wife, Kathy. And today, or, and we own and operate Sappy Simple Syrup. The name, people have asked where the name Sappy Simple Syrup came from. Actually, it came from a co-worker of mine. He used to always call me as soon as they found out I was tapping trees for maple sap. They, he, it just kind of rolled in off tongue. He just called me sappy all the time, and I just kind of ran with it. And then from there on, it was just a name that I stuck with. We actually started in 2015. We actually started on a, I saw an ad in the paper. Uh, individual Tim Sternitsky, the maple dude, buying maple sap. Started out with 120 taps. Bought the bag holders, plastic bags, and started out in 2015. Every year we added 50 taps on. The first three years, from 2015 to 2017, I sold the sap to Tim. And in 2018, I purchased an evaporator from Tim at the end of the season. At that point, we started making our own syrup. I went to 340 taps after that. And from then on, we had started cooking. And then we had started out with mason jars. They well, were great. Plastic bottles. You started out with plastic bottles. So then you went to mason oh, jars. Oh, my correction. <laughs> we started out with the plastic. Works great. Shelf life is just not what I wanted. A lot of people said it would, it was nice, but I wanted something a little different, something I could see. So in 2019, we went to the mason jars. Yes, you can see the material, but then you have to boil lids and it just seemed like it wasn't something I want to do all the time with mason jars. So in 2020, we went to what we have now I went to decanter bottles. The nice thing about decanter bottles is you fill the jar, you put on the lid, it has a seal on the lid, and it works great for just about everybody. Also, customers liked it for pouring a lot easier than the mason jars with a large mouth on it. A little bit about me. I grew up on a dairy farm pretty much all my life. And when I was younger, we dabbled in maple syrup. We had... Uh, maybe 50 or 75 trees, if I can remember correctly. But at that time, there wasn't a whole lot with ATVs and trailers and jugs. We had jugs, but we carried it across the pasture before school, and we carried it across the pasture after school. Most of the time, we cooked on the weekends. It was just a, a small put-together evaporator, a pan that was given to us by a neighbor, and we kind of ran from there. But at that point, I was a young kid, and even then it seemed like a lot of work. And as time progressed, I guess it just kind of, I got back into it again. I have a sister and a brother-in-law that tap just down about 15 minutes from my house, and I've gone over to their house many a times helping with different projects they've had. And it goes back and forth. Who's, who's got better syrup? And we go back and forth. So it's kind of a challenge on both sides. Okay, so I'll do a little bit of a background of me. Um, when I was about, I would be about 12, my third oldest brother, who is two years older than me, decided at age 14 he wanted to tamp on the, my parents' farm, which is over by, uh, just outside of Tomo, Wisconsin. Uh, it was kind of short-lived. It was only one springtime that he decided to tap, but we would go through the, the cow pasture to the woods in the back, and he actually used um, wooden bamboo um, sticks or reeds, and uh, he would drill a hole, put the bamboo stick um, in the hole he drilled, and the bamboo sticks were hollow, then he would notch off the top and he would put a five gallon plastic bucket on it 
And then every day we'd go down and he would give me the lighter bucket to carry. <laughs> As age 12, I couldn't carry very much and five gallon buckets were pretty heavy with sap. Um, so we did that every day. And then I'm not sure if he sold it or if he cooked it down. I can't remember because that was so long ago. It was only that one year he did that. Um, but uh, that's what we did. Uh, we didn't have any metal tamps at all. It was a bamboo um, stick that we put in the tree there. So um, that's about my background until I met my husband. And then he got into it and, of course, the wife would have to get into it too, being a family owned business. So that's about all I've got from my background, just the one year there. Now, like I said, when we started, we started with the stainless steel sap meister taps and we started with the bag holders. Worked great. Squirrels also love them. So it was a, it was a chore from time to time. I always carried a bundle of bags with me it went through the woods blue bag there. Yeah. and so the blue, blue bag bags. and you would go through the woods and I always had a spare bundle with me because it always seemed like in the brushier part of the woods those little varmints would like to chew on the bags and get that sweet water get their share of it too so from then on we went to in 2020 we went to plastic tubing and we went to uh, put in the main lines, put in the, the drops, the saddles, threw the, the whole ball of wax into it, built a sap shack. We ran temporary power in the spring. We run about 700 feet of temporary power from my mom and dad's cabin down to the sap shack. We have roughly 340 and growing taps as of right now. And that's taps, that's not trees. And we also have about roughly 4,500 feet of one inch main line. And we have a couple thousand feet of 516 ladder line that comes off of that into the trees that brings the sap into the main line. Along with that system, we also have, we utilize a guzzler pump, which is good up to 400 taps. And along with that, we also utilize a sap check, which is a Guz, uh, Bosworth company monitoring system. When what that does, it tells me when my tank is full, tells me what my outside operating temperature is. Also tells me what my vacuum level is in my lines. So I can tell if I have a vacuum leak somewhere in my system. The wonderful thing about that is I don't have to go to my sap shack to turn my pump on in the morning and I don't have to check on it in the afternoon to shut off. And everything goes, it's plugged right into my phone so every, all the information I want is at my fingertip. <laughs> and we've been um, in production since for eight years now. Um, and this year we actually got an LLC. So officially we are Sappy Simple Syrup LLC. So that's pretty much it. Give us a thumbs up and like our